art of knee lock. So what is knee lock? It's a lower body technique used in off width climbing. When the crack is of size of hand fist or fist fist stack. They can feel like a godsend at times as a knee lock can feel so secure that one can sit on it indefinitely without falling out of the crack. However, they sometimes might be too secure, so much so that one might just have to sit on it indefinitely. Yep, stuck. Canadian legend Jason Crook has this to say. Um, I'm not happy, but you know what? I guess if you climb enough off widths, one of these days, you're going to get your knee stuck and then shit your pants. <laughs> it's just an odds thing, really. Oh boy, that sounds grim. I'm not surprised though because of how knee lock is commonly taught as demonstrated by the white boys here. Spoiler alert, I don't recommend. So if we go into like this way, insert our leg into the crack like this. So you want me, oh, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Smash, so, smash it in. So inserting leg yeah. straight. Straight. Yep. What and you're basically deep. getting as far in as you can. Um, and then keeping this part of your leg, so like Tom's thigh here, keeping that exactly where it is, uh, he's just going to bring his lower leg out the crack. Yes, you will have very secure knee lock. However, that is recipe for stuck knee. Why? Because when your knee is straight, it is at its narrowest configuration. When you bend, it gets fatter. And uh, when it's the sharpest angle, it's at its biggest configuration. If there is any undulation in the crack, mechanically, the bones can get wedged in the undulation of the crack. Unfortunately, we have heard horror stories such as pooped pants or hours of search and rescue effort because of a stuck knee. So how do we prevent it? You're climbing and about to do a knee lock. No matter what position you were in, first take the knee out, bend it sharply to make it the biggest. Now shove this knee in and then you can relax a little bit because it was already in its biggest configuration. Climbing off with is all about using the minimal tension to keep your body in position. You do not need to be tense the entire time. And it is not using the mechanical chalk stone of the knee to lock your body in position, but rather it's using the off with, offset, which is the inside of the thigh and the outside of the calf. Let me show you what I mean in the crack. This crack is way too wide for knee lock, but it's okay, we'll use it for demonstration. When you do the knee lock, first bend your knee sharply. Now you shove the knee in, and then you can relax a little bit and offset it. By offset, I mean using the friction on the inside of the thigh and the friction between the outside of the calf with the wall. That's how you lock your knee in. And uh, oftentimes you can also hook your foot on the outside of the crack. Now the question is how to move up. The white boys will show you to slide the knee lock up. You might get away with that 95% of the time, especially if the cracks are Indian Creek style parallel cracks. But if there is any crystal in the crack or undulation, you might be in for a rude awakening. But hey, if it is indoor crack machine, perfectly parallel, maybe you're safe. Or are you really? 
Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got a mini in there for a second. Is that blood? I hear demonstrate moving up using the technique I was describing. As you can see, when I move up, I actually uh, press the side of my shin against the side of the crack so it doesn't accidentally um, push my knee in when my legs are not bent. But uh, when I'm ready to place the knee lock, I first bend it and then shove the knee in and then I relax a little bit. As you can see, it really doesn't take a whole lot to hold your body in position. It was just very subtle offset and that's all I need. So again, um, generally with off with climbing, try to really feel your body, see if you can use the minimal tension um, to get the job done. This is basically it. I don't mean to pick on the white boys. They have provided um, very valuable information to a lot of people. But I sincerely feel that the approach to knee lock can be done differently and uh, safer. That's why I feel compelled to make this uh, video. If you agree with me, please share. Share it with your friends. Share it on platforms that you think can reach other people who might benefit. My channel is not monetized. If you see any ads, it's not my doing. All I hope for is a world free of stuck knees. Happy climbing, be safe, and thank you for watching.